please take a moment and look. And I want to take a moment to explain what the Holy Spirit has already done. Two years ago this week, okay? Okay. Two years ago this week, my wife Jill and I, me in full bishop's attire, knelt in the cathedral in Bari as part of the final session of the community of Jesus in Kairos and we made our promises at a Catholic altar before a Catholic bishop to serve in the community of Jesus. This was done with the full approval and blessing of many in the Vatican, and that event is now past. So now comes the difficult bit, to live it. Bishop Mario Pacelli is the Catholic Bishop of Gravina, and he is the spiritual advisor to the community of Jesus. Now, how did we get here? You can blame God, and we do, or you can blame Matteo and Giovanna, and we do. Because Matteo came to us about five years ago and said, we would like to extend the community of Jesus into an Anglican expression. And like the readings this morning and yesterday in the Mass, as Peter heard words from God, my response in prayer was, no Lord and no Matteo. So our journey began with a no. It began with a no because I was right. I knew why it had to be a no. And that had to do with the oneness of the church. So what we have done in the community of Jesus as they have taken a risk is not to form an ecumenical community but to keep it as one community with different expressions. We do not want to start an Anglican community separately. We want to remain part of the community of Jesus. And so as we gather in England and as we pray, we always invoke the Holy Spirit and the next thing we do is we always thank God for our founders, Matteo and Giovanna. And we do not want to move away from the chrisms of adoration, of reconciliation, and of evangelism. So we see ourselves as one community, and may God help us to live that oneness. Now, how does the Holy Spirit actually work? Because new communities, as we experience in them, are charismatic. Well, the Holy Spirit, according to the Apostle Paul, in First Corin uh, sorry, Second Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9, Jesus speaks to the Apostle and says, My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. And I say this properly. We have no idea what we're doing. But that's what qualifies us for the kingdom of God. The Spirit of God will work into our weakness. And one of the things that comes with weakness is humility. And I don't know how many of our African brothers and sisters will listen to this. But 
please, please pray for us in the West because we are the poor church now. We are poor in spirit. We have a desperate need of God. And by and large, in the Anglican world, at least in the Western church, we are turning our back, not just on chrisms, but on the very heart of the gospel itself. And there is no point in coming together in unity unless we impact into a new evangelization. Because what the world needs and what the church needs in that sense is that together we once again rediscover not only the content of the gospel, but the confidence of that gospel in the apostolic faith. And we cannot, hear it again, we cannot do it alone. It will not work. And so we are together in one sense, yes, to answer Jesus' prayer of John 17, but also for the very simple fact that if this does not get lived, there will be no reconversion in Europe. And in the Vatican, they have taken this risk of a new evangelization. It's honest because it's saying to us as the church, do we know what we believe? And what an opportunity now to take these gifts and share them again with the whole of the church. What for me is unity? Unity is when the Spirit of God leads us to think, to feel, and to act in the same way. How that is lived may be different. For me and for Jill, but for me what happened when I was baptized in the Spirit was very simple. Father Romeo Cantela Mesa gave us his definition of the love of God the other day, which was wonderful. But the day after I was baptized in the Spirit, yes, I, I, I learned to speak in new tongues. What a gift. But I got out of bed this, the following morning, and this book, this scripture, was now mine. This scripture was now believable because the Holy Spirit breathed into me so that I might understand something of the heart of his word to me in a new and living way. And I think it's been wonderful that the Holy Father has called together with degrees of regularity so many now to come and have scripture conferences and to study the word of God. And the Lord has been doing that with us and the Lord will continue to do that with us, and I am sure surprises. What is this about? I believe it's very simple. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We are created in his image, and therefore we are to be that gateway. We are to be that icon of the community of the Trinity amongst his people, for the sake of those who are yet to come. You may have many questions as to how we are trying to live this as one community. Of course, you can talk to Matteo, to others from Bari, to Giovanna, to Angela, to Marcel, to others from across different parts of the globe. But we feel that the Lord has placed us as part of one community for the one journey, how it works out.